And now to an exclusive story you'll only see on KETK. A Marshall ISD football player is alive tonight after he collapsed during a game earlier this week. If not for the quick thinking of the athletic trainer, things might have turned out differently. KETK's Mai Owens is here to tell us how being prepared is vital for everyone on and off the field. That's right, Casey, you prepare for it, but you don't think it will ever happen. And that's what one woman is saying after an emergency on the field. Now she's hoping her hours of training will continue to help her players. Tuesday night football, a normal game for Marshall ISD Junior High, turned scary for one player. We were out here playing Hallsville and um, just kind of out of nowhere, you know, we noticed a kid go down. Mid-play, an athlete went into cardiac arrest. No pulse, not breathing. There's a way that when a kid goes down, you kind of know it's serious pretty quickly, and, and this was one of those situations. That's when athletic trainer Asanse Wood sprung into action. Um, I just... You know, went out and reacted like I always do, check on the kid. The coaches let me know that he was uh, breathing rather quickly. Um, and so I just went out to kind of calm him down and kind of regulate his breathing and get him back up. Performing CPR. One, two. She was able to save his life just as the EMTs arrived. When I think back on it, I don't even think I had a chance to react. I think I immediately just went into my training. As an athletic trainer, they're usually the first ones on the field and the last ones to leave, making their job vital to ensuring every player is able to walk away from the field. Woods has been a trainer here for just four months and says it's because of her training that she's ready for anything. You train, you teach, you know you have the knowledge and you hope that you never have to use it, but it's satisfying to know that in that time of need that you're able to do your job. With no signs of any heart condition in the player. Knowing the risk of the sport is half the battle. Sometimes it's the dangers they don't see coming that hit the hardest. Now the school is not releasing the name of the athlete at this time, but says he is back home in good spirits with his family. In studio, my Owens, KTK News. Heavy